For any kid, meeting their sports hero is a big deal. But for a child with autism, that opportunity can seem like something from out of left field. Today, the Canucks brought together athletes from all of Vancouver's major teams, giving hundreds of kids the rare chance to play together. Richard Zussman reports. All right, swing. Good hit. David Chiquette always swings for the fences. The nine-year-old is full of energy and loves playing sports. I like the fun you have and uh, the competition and everything. Oh, glory to the Canadians! But sports don't always come easy for David. Living with autism makes team activities challenging. That's one of the reasons why the Canucks Autism Network brought 200 autistic kids together to play. Oh, it's greatly important. Um, it gets them out and interacting with each other. I'm um, getting a lot of skills that they wouldn't normally get. Oh, close. There are about 6,200 kids in BC living with autism. The disorder affects every person differently, but generally impairs social interaction, verbal and nonverbal communication. Paolo Aquilini founded the charity. His son Christian lives with the condition. And so many times they don't have the opportunity to do any kinds of sports because of their uh, situation, they're not really welcome. And so for us, sports and rec were two areas that were not being really uh, looked after. So sports is a natural fit, I think, uh, to help kids with uh, autism. What Aquilini and his foundation has been able to do is bring the city's sports community on board under the roof at BC Place. Um, and especially for the kids to have opportunities like this, have a sports day where it's a lot of fun for them to come out and have the opportunity to play with the BC Lions, Whitecaps, uh, the Canadians and the Canucks as well and, and play in all the different sports and look like they're having a lot of fun out there. For Chiquette, meeting the stars he sees on the big screen was a big deal, but the bigger deal was the friends he made, kicking a ball or shooting a puck. The best part about it is uh, meeting new people. New people who by the time next year's event rolls around will be considered old friends. Richard Zussman, CBC News, Vancouver.